Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. I'm going to do something I haven't done for a little while on this channel. I'm doing another spit roast chicken. I have all these leftover herbs and what a better way to use these up than to uh, do a nice spit roast chicken over the uh, barbecue. So I've got a whole heap of herbs here. I've got uh, basil, I've got uh, coriander, uh, I've got some tarragon, I've got some uh, parsley, I've got all these leftover herbs from some of these different recipes that I've been doing recently. Got some uh, fresh dill there as well. So I'm going to season all that up quite heavily with uh, some freshly ground black pepper, of course, just like that. Nice big dose of salt. This is going to help flavor the chicken from the inside. I've got some fresh rosemary I've plucked straight out of the garden. Just chop that up into nice little manageable pieces. And that's pretty much going to do our herby bit for now. I've got a small onion. I'm just going to quarter that. You could even dice that up nice and fine if you want. I just wanted it nice and chunky and keep things nice and simple. I've also got a couple of wedges of lemon. Maybe about three wedges worth of lemon. They go straight in. And now it's time for us to stuff our chicken. So one fresh chicken. Just like that. And all I'm simply going to do is jam as much of that ingredients in that little bowl there as possible into the chicken. Alternate between your lemon and the onion, the herbs. Just mix it all up as you go. Just doesn't matter how it goes in there. Just try and fit as much of it in there as you possibly can. And that herby flavor and that lemon and the onion is just going to soak straight through the chicken breast and into the thighs. It's going to taste absolutely amazing. So get that nice and full, just like that. I'm just going to use a skewer and sew the back of the bird up quite roughly. If you want to, you can actually use a kitchen needle and kitchen twine. This is just a real quick, easy way to do things for now. That is sewn shut. Let's uh, start making sure our bird's not going to run away. We're going to tie its legs up. So let's put a slip knot on one side of your kitchen twine and just wrap it around the, uh, the drumsticks like I'm doing, roughly like that. There's no right, there's no wrong way to do this. I have got a video on the channel on how to truss a bird properly. It is a little bit more involved. I just wanted to cook this thing, get it out of the way. So I'm just doing a very simple bondage technique on this poor chicken. So we've got its legs tied together. And what we want to do is just roughly tie the wings together. Otherwise, when it goes onto the spit, the, the uh, wings are going to flap around, get caught up in the uh, actual barbecue itself. And we don't really want that. So just try and tuck those up tie them up roughly so it's going to look something like that now I'm working out where I'm going to put my spit forks for this particular size chicken every chicken is different and believe it or not on this particular setup that I've got I can actually do three chickens so uh, it's a little bit of a strain on the motor it's only a battery powered unit but they are just worth the money it will cost you about 60 or 70 dollars at uh, your local hardware store Right, so we're going to insert the spit rod from the back towards the front and try and make it come out through the neck quite evenly. What we want to try and do is get this nicely balanced. It's probably the hardest part about spit roasting full stop, making sure your meat is balanced on the spit shaft. So adjust your forks accordingly, press those in, and the other thing we're going to do now so we're going to pick that up and we're going to see if it's going to flip one way or the other. Not perfectly balanced. How cool is that? So all I'm simply going to do is make sure all my little thumb screws are tightened on my forks. We don't want those slipping around. I've had problems in the past. When you first start spit roasting, you do learn a lot very, very quickly. And I'll tell you what, it's a great healthy way to cook as well. Put that into the spit motor put that tray just to the side I'm going to use that in a minute I'm going to cut off any loose tails of our kitchen twine we don't want that to catch and burn as you can see there is no heat at the moment I'm just using the spit motor to rotate the chicken this makes it a bit easier for me 
if you're a subscriber, you do, we would know that I do have multiple sclerosis and my hands don't work the best of the best of times. Right, spray oil. Just give that chicken a nice coat of spray oil. It's just gonna help crisp up the skin. And it's probably one of the only times I really do use a spray oil is when I'm doing a roast. A good amount of salt. Some of that salt is going to come out when the fat comes out. And I'll sh I'm going to show you another tip in a second as well for that. So, salt, pepper. I'm using a bit of white pepper there. Give that a good liberal dose. You can use any spices you like actually on top. And a little bit of black pepper. That goes over the top. Just a nice little dusting that very very simple as you can probably see it looks like I've forgotten to cut one of those little bits of string off right I'm gonna get the heat happening and the way I get mine going everyone's barbecue is different I usually have the two end ones on high I'll put the ones just in from that on low watch the thermometer make sure it sits at around about 180 190 degrees I'll put that little tray underneath the chicken this is around about sort of 40 minutes in maybe half an hour in and that's going to catch all of that chicken fat we're going to use that for another recipe a little bit later in the week all right nice and carefully remove your spit forks use a uh, an oven mitt or something like that and also using a uh, carving fork makes things a little bit easier as well what we have to do now is simply get that chicken off put that on a wire rack before you know it your chicken is done love to try love to see you try and make this one at home it is so easy i'm going to use this chicken for two other recipes so i'm going to finish this off right now thank you so much for watching really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too hit that notification bell share this video with your friends comment more importantly you want to learn little tips like this you need to subscribe join the family my family and i will catch you next time bye